this is just my opinion, you know. You know, a lot of times, you know, being a bantamweight bodybuilder and, you know, competing in 132 and low 148s and raw powerlifting, it's like, you know, you're trying to ice skate uphill sometimes. I mean, you have to go above and beyond, you know, to keep up with, you know, the bigger guys, you know, because, I mean, they're, you know, they're the ones that's they're getting all the attention, you know? Fox. 134 These even. days, you could, you could probably take any average person out there off the street, put them in multiply or probably even single ply gear, and they can total 10 times their body weight, but I mean, how many guys in America right now are doing that, you know, raw, you know, whether it's with sleeves or with knee wraps, I mean, that'll be a debate, you know, bigger than any presidential election we'll ever have, you know, well, oh, that's not raw and that's not raw, I mean, I mean, look at all the gear that, you know, the equipped guys get to put on and, and you're going to fuss over a pair of knee wraps, I mean, <laughs> come on, really? Building, you know what I mean? That that lower half, you know, the bantam weight through the middle weights. I mean, you know, being a bantam weight myself, I mean, where there's no room for error on the stage, man. You know, I mean, you you have to push and you have to press very hard because, you know, I mean, the, the bigger guys they're, they're gonna get all the the endorsements, they're gonna get the sponsorships, they're gonna get all the pub. I mean, you know. You don't you don't make a magazine, you know, unless you're a, a, a light heavyweight or, or bigger. You know, I mean, you know, the, little, the, little, the smaller classes seemingly have to, you know, go out there and defy logic. to meet Johnny Jackson, competed his meet out in Dallas this past year, and that was an awesome experience for me, you know. But, you know, it, it, it always made me wonder, you know, with with he and Stan Eferding always going, you know, back and forth about, you know, who's the world's strongest bodybuilder and stuff like that. Well, it kind of made me wonder, you know, who, who's pound for pound the strongest? I mean, you're not gonna get a 175 guy that's gonna, you know, Touch Rhino squat, I mean, you know, 850, 900, probably soon to be, and Johnny Jackson, you know, deadlift, I witnessed this guy deadlift, you know, 830 in a, in a sanctioned competition. I mean, you know, it leaves the little guys, you know, the smaller guys to wonder, you know, just, you know, pound for pound, you know, who is the strongest bodybuilder, you know, in the world or in America. You know, honestly and truthfully, you know, even though I haven't made, you know, pro yet, which, you know, I hope to compete for my IFBB pro card, you know, with, you know, in 2013, you know, and, you know, to still, you know, do some powerlifting in the meantime. So, you know, I don't know who they currently, you know, give the title of, you know, pound for pound, 
you know, world's strongest bodybuilder too, but, you know, you know, I think I played a good case, you know. What do you think?